enough of that. We will cut. We'll cut that tape right there. Cut the video. It's no longer tape. I got to remember that. It's been 30 years, 20 years anyway. Uh, hi, it's the Great Vanzini, and I'm back with yet another guitar. But hey, it's not a Gretsch, okay? I got. Uh, I don't. I don't want to see another Gretsch <laughs> for about. Uh, I don't know, two or three weeks or a month or something. I don't know. Um, after you do a few of those, and they're so similar, so many aspects of them are identical. That after a while you just think, what uh, what are you going to talk about? Hey, it's 24 and three quarters length, you know, scale length. So, um, so my apologies right off the beginning here for the tone quality. I am using a uh, Boss JS10 E band and uh, with a backing track. I hope the backing tracks aren't um, copyrighted, or I'm going to get in trouble or something. I don't know. What they have are pre-recorded little loops in there, and um, they're they're anywhere from I think about ten or fifteen seconds up to up to sixty seconds. I don't. They may have some complete songs in there. I don't know, but um, you can just loop through them, and it's great for practice. I ran out of plugins, or I would have made it sound better because you can output from this Boss JS10. I'm going to put it right there for now. And what I output it through, I think it could go through a speaker. I could probably put it through that Fender speaker I've been using. But um, it does have headphone out jack. But it's also got RCA jacks out right and left. And you can just buy a cord. It does take an XLR. And you can just buy a cord with an adapter thing. It just takes a regular plug in there. This goes to a power amp. And that goes in there and this comes out of the boss and the normal power amp I use is just this really inexpensive claims to be 300 watts and it wouldn't surprise me the darn thing's really loud it's got two tens in it and um, the downside is it has no EQ it's just got volume and uh, if I had my preference I'd have some EQ there but this has tons and tons of EQ and once you get good at messing around with guitar sounds I don't know what guitar sound that is actually but um, once you get around with guitar sounds I'm going to find something that's a little more melodic be back in a minute but just about every tone they put on it I'm going to aim that towards the um, towards the microphone almost every tone they put in it they add reverb and add effects it's basically a boss GT100 kind of I, I, I have one of those and uh, it's very much the same sort of thing. It looks like I'm crooked. I hope I'm not, but I may be. Um, looks like I'm leaning a little to the my right, your left, I guess. Uh, um, anyway, it, they're great for practice use. And when you output them, they sound way, way better when you output them to a, like a powered speaker like that. And uh, I, I guess I could put an EQ pedal in the middle of it. To EQ it to make sure it sounds, but it sounds really good um, as a clean instrument. Anyway, I've never every time I've outputted to this little power unit, I've uh, always been playing my some jazzy sort of stuff and and wanting clean sounds, and so um, and it sounds really good. It sounds it's got a lot more bottom end to it, and so that's kind of cool. So let's move on. Uh, we're doing a quick uh, show and tell today. We're showing a Reverend Club King um, RT. RT is for Revtron. It's a Revtron. I'm going to hold it up here a little closer so you can see it. It does have a Bigsby. I don't know what type. I think I have it written down. And it's got two Revtron pickups. And Revtrons, I think, are meant to kind of borrow on the idea of Filtertrons. But um, they're really... They're very, they're different, and I don't, I don't hear that Gretschy. Oh, I've gone back to distorted somehow. What has happened? There we go. There we go. I'm going to have to turn this up a little bit. Yeah, 
so it's a Reverend Club King uh, with uh, Revtrons in it. I really wanted the P90. Andy Martin uh, used to be with Pro Guitar Shop, and now Andy's, I don't know what his, I can't remember his channel name. I'll, I'll try to link it below. But um, Andy, uh, Andy made me buy this. Andy made me buy this. He, um, he, when he was up at Pro Guitar Shop, and boy do I miss them. They're, they were great to deal with. When I was uh, uh, when he was up there, he uh, and he still has it. I think I think he used it in one of his more recent videos. But he has a green one of these. It's just beautiful. I just love that green color with two. I think his has two P90s. So I really wanted the P90s, and I just couldn't find a used one around. So I got this used through Guitar Center's website. And Guitar Center's website, you you know, it's a little bit hit and miss, but they have a great return policy. If you don't like it, you return it. And um, so this was like around 500 bucks with the case, with the original Reverend case. And normally they're about eight, 850 or 900 plus the case is 100 and some. So I felt like I got a pretty good deal and it said it was in, I think it said excellent condition. And that's where I worry, what, what's excellent, what's a really good condition, what's like new uh, or in fair condition. And um, I'll get into that later with an Ibanez jazz box that I got, um, but it's still got a good deal. So the good thing is, is you they have a, like a I think a 30 day return policy or some sort of return policy, but you don't have to ship it back to them. You just take it to your local guitar center and tell them you don't want it, and they take it off your hands. So I've had pretty good luck with guitar center used. Um, um, website with their it's used as within their normal website but that's it so so these have filter trons let's get back to business these have filter trons they're really kind of mini style humbucker pickups uh and they retain a little i don't i don't hear that gretsch tone but there's some something else going on there that i that i like but they're the mini instead of the full ones and andy martin made me buy it uh this is all carina with a solid spruce top according to the latest stuff on there so um that's pretty nice and it really there's no there's not like there's there's a lot of really nice wood grain in there there's no you know bird's eye maple or anything like that but it's because it, it's carina but you can see a lot of really good wood grain in there it's got a neck when i first got it it felt smaller to me now today it feels much more normal or much more like a just very much like a fender neck like a strat neck it's a satin neck it's not a gloss uh, so, and i like that i just like that kind of smoothness of a satin neck it's got the string tree it's got the pickups it's got um, a 25 and a half inch scale length i know that and but it's got a um, Bigsby B50. All those Gretches had B60s, I think. This is a B50, and it's a different looking thing. Stays in tune really well, and I'll tell you why in a moment. But it's also a very gentle one. Um, where'd my volume go? does something really cool when they when you buy a guitar from them they did a year ago I don't know if they're still doing it or not they give you two springs with the Bigsby and one is a really soft gentle I don't think I have that one in here and the other one's a little more firm but even the firm one is not um, it's not real dive bombing it's pretty dive bombing okay stayed in tune pretty well and the reason for that is is of course because they put locking tuners on all of their guitars and um, they seem to be really they, they're real functional work really well and I just love changing strings when a guitar has locking tuners all guitars should have locking tuners I haven't found a downside uh, well I mean I hear arguments about tone but I, I, I find that you know the tone stops at the at the 
tuning peg to me, it would seem, here. Um, so when I bought this Guitar Center for around 500 with the case, you know, it was like $500 off. I was really worried that it was going to be not in excellent condition. It was going to be in fair condition. And when I got it, it was just amazing. It was really, it appeared to be new. It had all the um, hang tags and case candy and all that stuff in the case. And so I was really, really, I felt like I got away with something. And uh, so I felt pretty good about that. And the other thing I forgot to mention, I mentioned the locking tuners is having an impact on the Bigsby, and it does, I think. I think that plays a role too. But even more importantly, duh, I totally missed this. All the reverends with Bigsby's, maybe all the reverends, I don't know, but they all have roller bridges. And um, that really makes it, you know, on some guitars when you have a tremolo, it, there's a popping. When you tune it, there's a pop that happens, usually on the B string or the G string. For me, anyway. Um, it used to always be the B string, and lately it's always been the G string. So I don't know. I don't know what that's about. So... Anyway, so the roller bridge plays a, a big role in it. Um, somebody mentioned, I watched a video earlier today where the guy said um, he didn't think locking tuners had any impact, but maybe it would. He was doing it on a telly and not, a, and, and not with anything with a tremolo. And I think, um, I think it probably does make a difference. I don't, I don't think there's any concern with changing all your strings and having something change that you have to worry about, I don't think. If you do have any problems, you can use a little graphite in the nut or some, uh, there's some stuff out called nut, nut sauce. I got Johnny A recommended using not nut sauce, so I, I bought some. So uh, anyway, that's it. So the controls on this I didn't go over is the bass contour, which really adds in bass or detracts from bass. There's the regular tone control, which is kind of, you know, most of us crank it all the way wide open so it's trebly. And uh, so we get some spank out of the bridge pickup. And um, uh, and as you roll it back, this one is pretty, pretty decent. It doesn't, you know, some of them are just all or nothing. It's all treble, all treble. And when you get almost all the way to the back, all of a sudden it kicks in all those mids. Um, I, I, it doesn't, I've never ever seen one that really brings up a lot of bottom end. It just puts in mids, muddy mids. And so, um, but this one has a little bit, of, has, has some give where you can, you can dial it in a little bit. Uh, I don't, I tend to play all treble. And then if I want the bassy stuff, I use the bass uh, contour. And, and it's very picky. It's very, it goes, it's very, um, graduated up so it's not all it's not all off or all on all at one point in there um, anyway I love the pickups uh, yeah if it had a, if it had a regular fretboard it would be pal ferro but this is this is all maple I don't think I have I don't think it's the rest the uh, baked roasted maple roasted lightly sauteed 25 and a half inch scale Truss rod is dual action headstock axis. I've never done an adjustment, so I have no clue what that really means. It looks just like a regular truss rod. Some sort of a hex key thing that you use in there. Um, these things are beautiful. I mean, I am just, this just really become one of my favorite guitars. Yeah, I don't play it nearly as much as I should, but it, it it just plays well. It sounds good. Everything about it is is really really good. So um, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, oh, the neck profile they claim is medium oval, and that doesn't uh, with a 12 inch radius, and it doesn't really doesn't tell me much about it, but. Um, I love it. I love it. If you got extra money and you want to get into Reverend, this is not a bad starting point. Hey, that's what a ring light does. You got to really watch it with a ring light. Um, anyway, it's got a bolt-on neck, and I don't know what's going on here, but it's like six, 
six screws going in there and then it's got two little bitty ones in the center. You can't see that. It's got six per side and then two in the center. So I don't know what that's about. I've never read up on that. I don't think they've ever issued anything. I love the modern kind of look. It's kind of wants to be a telly, but it's definitely not. It's got this sharp edge here. It's a single cutaway. It's a, um, they call it a semi-hollow, but I have not found the other side ever yet. And I don't think I'm gonna, even with a flashlight. Yeah, I'm not going to get down there. I mean, it's a very solid plank of wood right up in here that I'm guessing goes, so it's it's semi-hollow, at least on the top, and I don't know what's going on on the bottom. It sounds as though it's still chambered around here, too. Well, obviously, it's cut out where the controls are. Yeah, when you get back here, it really gets that bongo sound. Nothing there. So I'm guessing that block goes, it's probably got to go back a ways to, and I'm not hearing much there. It's not, uh, it's not a particularly light guitar like a, like a regular semi-hollow might be, but it's, it's not as heavy. I don't think I've ever, I didn't look up the weight. Um... It's a roasted maple, is what they say, although this might be before they started roasting their necks because it doesn't quite have that, I don't have enough ring light on there, it doesn't quite have the darker roasted maple look, but it is a maple neck. If it wasn't maple, it would be Palferro. 22 frets, dual action truss rod. The tuners are called Reverend Pinlocks. Okay, that I did not know. Um, so that's pretty cool. And I don't have um, a whole lot else. Their list price is $13.29 currently. Uh, I, I found one in the 800s, $8.99 I think it was, new. But maybe they raised their prices elsewhere. Uh, I actually had trouble finding one of these new on the internet. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's it's really got a good vibe to it, I think. It's very cool. And uh, and they make one like this. It's got a different name. I should know my reverence. I love reverence. Uh, it's got a different name, and it's a solid body. I can't remember what it is. You usually get your choice on some of them, and every year they change the options around and the colors, and so every year it's a little different. And if you're really, really knowledgeable about Reverence, you could probably look at a guitar and say, oh, that's a Carina Club King with Revtron pickups. That's a 2015 or something like that. I don't know them that well uh, at all. Um, I got a couple others uh, and I'm going to show you. Well, it's been in the case, but it's like it needs a, needs a deep cleaning already. Uh, it has the bass contour that Reverend does, I think, on all of them. That's in, that's in the bridge position. Really quite bassy. Well, some of that's distortion because I'm over amping here a little bit. But the bass contour, a lot of people say, oh, it's just a tone control. Well, it is. Yeah, it's a tone control. You can bring that bottom end in with it. First is the normal tone control, which is all treble or mid-range. Anyway, so the normal, the other tone control is more like a treble tone control like you have on a regular guitar and you roll it off and end up with lots of lots of muted sounding mids. Uh, in, in the uh, neck pickup, again, I apologize, I should have planned out a little better. I didn't think... The 
little speakers in this thing. If you crank it up, it just, it really, it pushes them so much they start to, it sounds like breakup, but not too breakup. It's just speaker breakup, so it's a um, kind of a thing. They put, uh, I don't know what type of strings they put on it, but they're, you can just tell they're 10 to 46s or something, 10 to 48s. I've been trying to practice and my fingers feel like raw meat, so. Um, yeah, I, I love this guitar. In the middle position. Can't tell. I'm gonna, I may have to redo this video, I don't know. We'll see. Now I could go in and EQ it here, but uh, it would take me a little bit. I want amp. I can choose my amp. Natural clean amp. Full range. Oh, I actually like that better. Yeah. Combo crunch, stack crunch, high gain crunch. Get me out of here. Forty-three millimeter width. I don't know what that. I, I just don't know my millimeters. I think on one of the Gretches it was one point six eight something, and it and then it had in parentheses. And it's not synthetic bone or it's bonite. It's bonite, which uh, I suspect is the same thing as what other people are using. It seems good. It seems just fine. Let's find something here. Okay, well that's it. I'll leave you with some surf, surf ballad. Talk to you later. Bye. Have a good one.